So in February of 2021, that is when my mental health took a turn for the worse. Um, I was actively suicidal. I was planning um, how I wanted to end my life. Um, I was really struggling with just an unshakable exhaustion. Nothing that I did helped me not feel tired. Um, it didn't matter how much sleep that I got. I still felt exhausted at the end of the day and I just couldn't escape it. I was a teacher at the time and I was teaching during the pandemic. So there was so much pressure on me to contact parents, to plan, to grade, to give feedback, to teach, to do coach class and to grade some more. Um, and my days were long. On top of that, I was a mom. I had a toddler. I'm being this teacher for my students who's cheery, who's there for them because that's what they needed at the moment. But who I was and what I was actually going through was very far away from the person that they saw. They saw Miss Higgins and they felt like safe and that they could share. Um, but I just felt so alone. I felt trapped. I felt stuck in my life and that there was no way for me to get out of it without ending my life. When I think about all the responsibilities that I had as a teacher, um, it felt like only I could do a lot of these things. I'm the teacher of record, so I have to plan all the lessons. I have to grade all the things. I have to do all the reports. And there came to a point where I just felt like I can't write any more reports. And I looked at one that just come through my email and I was just like, this is the last report that I'm ever going to do. And it was because shortly after that, I took FMLA. Um, and a couple months after that, I resigned from teaching. When I think about the time I took for FMLA, it was really life changing for me. You know, after talking to someone who had been where I was, after finding a therapist who saw me for me and what I needed, I was in um, intensive outpatient therapy. And at first I thought I wasn't going to get anything out of it. You know, I'm going to therapy three hours a day, three times a week for three weeks. But the advice that I got from the other members of the group, these are some of the coping mechanisms that I still use to this day. Um, that program did so much for me that my certificate that I have in my house is one of my prized possessions because I don't know where I would have been at in my life without um, the people in that group, without that program, without the people who led that program, because it really helped me get to the other side of what I was going through. And it allowed me to open up more and gave me the tools to open up more to my family and let them know what I was dealing with. During that time, I was looking for any, any way to not have to teach that day. I hoped the internet went out. I hoped that there was some sort of storm. I even got my tonsils taken out so I can miss two weeks of teaching. I just didn't want to deal with the pressure and feeling trapped in this job anymore. I feel like, in a sense, what I went through, the part of me who wasn't happy with life, who wasn't open, did die. But the person I am today was born and that person is more me than what I've ever felt in my life.